world. Now, on this edition of, well, Epilepsy Awareness Month, obviously, because it's November and beautiful, I'm beautiful. <laughs> You're beautiful too. Anyway, so on this edition, can epileptics exercise? Yes. Okay, bye. I'm done. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so to elaborate, basically, yes, we can exercise. Um, but the thing is, we can't exert ourselves like too much to an extreme, um, like to exhaustion. Um, maxing out when like doing weights or something that that's something that you like as an epileptic you can't do because uh number one dangerous um even even like lifting weights um kind of dangerous um just regularly so when exercising going to the gym uh one thing that's important is to be supervised have somebody with you who knows what to do if you're gonna have a seizure. Um, things like having uh, deadlifts, doing deadlifts. Um, you always have to have somebody to spot you. Um, just a regular person. But you have to, when you're epileptic, you have to have somebody to spot when you're about to have a seizure. Um, so that they can help you and just so you know that you're gonna be safe so you're not gonna have a serious accident um, yes it's dark but it's important for people to know that one thing that I know for sure um, is that The medication, it kind of makes you not really want to exercise because uh, I know with my medication, I feel depressed most of the time, so I don't really want to do anything. And so the days that I, um, the rare days that I do feel enough energy to actually do something, um, I typically go out with my friends and, um, when I'm out with my best friend, I definitely get a workout because I'm walking around uh, a lot. So I definitely get a good exercise. Uh, I definitely, for me personally, um, I have to be extra careful when I'm exercising because um, even when I'm really feeling good, um, going too much, like even on the treadmill, uh, you know, they have those special, um, uh, it's like a special tag that you like clip onto yourself so that if you fall, um, it stops the treadmill immediately. Um, first time I was on a treadmill, um, <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have a seizure and so I didn't have it, I thought it would be fine because it's just running. I didn't think that running would cause a seizure. And so I had a seizure. Luckily my mom was with me. Uh, I was at the gym with my mom. Um, but I had exhausted myself because I had continued and continued and continued. Even though I was sweating a lot and whatever, I just continued running because I felt good. And I, at that time, that was years ago. That was more than half a decade ago. That was probably about seven or eight years ago. So I, I, I thought feeling good meant I wasn't going to have a seizure. You, you have to be careful. And when you have epilepsy, you have to be careful. You have to keep in mind that you can't go to a point where you're dehydrated you can't um, over exhaust yourself you, like you can't max out like I said um, so you can't push yourself uh, farther than like what you're used to um, 
like if something is easy for you like let's say you want to start uh, lifting weights whatever you do with dumbbells and uh, first week all you can lift is like five pounds you know, in each hand and um, that is like not easy but not extremely hard either um, in that first week, you can't go to 10 pounds because if, it, if you're straining yourself, that could trigger a seizure. So the thing I've learned is definitely exercise. Eat food that is good for you, even if it's not really good for you. <laughs> like, I mean, uh, for me, being vegan has helped a lot because even though I still eat junk food and it's vegan junk food, um, I still have lost weight. Like it's maybe like one or two pounds in like a year, but it's still, you know, I still pretty much stay at the same weight uh, throughout the course of the year. And it's, it, it helps to, to maintain your weight. And it's not, so much of you know because I'm not like a raw vegan I don't um, I don't stick with raw vegan food because um, yeah it, it takes a lot of preparation and all the preparation takes a lot of time so um, I basically sleep 12 hours a day so I am I don't have that much time to be preparing food. Okay, so the thing is, yes, yes, vegans, vegans, see in my brain, medication, this is what happens when you have medication, when you're epileptic and you're taking the medication because it's messing with your head. Okay, so epileptics, yes, I, w I said vegans before, but yes, of course vegans can exercise, but epileptics. Yes, we can exercise, but we have to be extra careful about it. We have to be extra cautious to make sure that we're safe and that we're supervised, that somebody knows, um, can tell when we're about to have a seizure and knows what to do uh, when we have a seizure and um, make sure we're hydrated, uh, like, not too hydrated because you know like drinking too much water can set y your body into shock as well and uh it can actually dilute your medication too much and so that's not good either uh make sure that you take your medication on time and that you're not missing any medication because if you're exercising you have to have your medication um because you know exercising it gets rid of your toxins it helps your body to get rid of the toxins uh, a lot faster and medication even though it is helping you to either prevent your seizures or to lower the amount of seizures that you have your body does consider it a toxin so it's going to get rid of it uh, a lot faster so you have to just make sure that it's that you're safe and just like I said be cautious and whatever and make sure that you don't miss any meals because um, dieting with epileptics is not really the safest thing um, I mean like a ketogenic diet for people who are dealing with their seizures that way that's a different uh, situation but I mean cutting calories is not safe because if you're cutting calories then your brain is not really being able to function properly and missing meals um, eating just a salad for like the whole day because you think that's gonna help you lose weight not a good idea because that's not enough calories to to make your brain function properly so you have to be super careful with that uh, anything to do with fitness um, you have to be super careful 
Um, never go alone when you're going on walks. Um, especially long walks. Like, I mean, you can go for like maybe a short walk if you know you're not gonna have a seizure um, in like the next 10 minutes. Um, but if you're not feeling well, don't, don't, just don't, don't take that chance. Um, that's, that's one thing that I have learned the hard way multiple times. And, um, I just, I just know now that it's important to be cautious and to make sure that I am aware of my surroundings and to make sure that I am safe whenever I exercise and whenever I go out anywhere I go um, haven't really gone to the gym because the gym is full of equipment that is really dangerous so I I stick to pretty much body only exercises because that is the safest that exercise can get doing push-ups with just your body is safe because if you have a seizure you're just gonna fall on the floor and you're not gonna hit your head on any uh, equipment you're you're gonna hit your head on the floor but I mean you know it's better than using uh, weights that can crush you um, things like uh, doing crunches um, you know, doing leg exercises that don't require machines. That's a thing. Oh my god, wow. Just be safe and be cautious. And just love yourself. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much all I can say. Um, so yeah, as I have said before, yes, epileptics can exercise. Just be cautious about it. And that's that's the most important thing. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. And be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel, and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays, and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Mwah.